Okay, that's great. So triggers are main content uh, of this practice. Uh, we are going to manipulate three types of triggers. The DML triggers means uh, based on the use of the SQL select, uh, SQL insert, SQL update, SQL delete, DML, the data manipulation uh, queries. And the uh, DDL triggers means uh, based on the use of uh, the create, main, mainly create the database, create a table, create an object inside the database, DDL, data definition language. Uh, the queries they are responsible for building the architecture inside the uh, SQL Server. Uh, and the third type is the logon triggers. The logon triggers means they are uh, triggers to control, to control the logon. To the computer using the SA or using the Windows based the environment based user or any uh, other login we create. So, uh, this is the main uh, the part. Mainly, you will understand what is a trigger and how to utilize them for what to utilize. It. What is it? How and for what? Uh, uh, to do so, our practice today would be inside the SQL Server. So inside the uh, MS server, Microsoft uh, server 2012, we installed the virtual machine uh, at the beginning. We are going to install today. I'm going to make two uh, tasks in parallel. We will install and we will uh, execute at the same time. So I, I start uh, the virtual machine. I'm going to just show to you to make you recognize. I'm going to power off. Uh, Great. Uh, so the virtual machine, my VMware. The server, Windows Server, we installed. I'm going to install. Okay. You can configure again. Still, uh, you are you are having a chance to configure at any time you need to change the run size or the uh, hard disk space or number of cores. Let's do. I think actually I'm going to change the number of cores. Let me try to do that. I'm going to give four cores. Okay. Just to make it faster. And I'm going to start it. So, no updates. I'm going to change to full screen mode from here. And wait for the machine to start. Uh, the SQL Server, you get it from Moodle. Me, myself, I get it actually from a local uh, directory. This is the SQL Server. Whenever you log in, actually, if that's you, this window, just give the power failure uh, error message. No more, no less. It's enough. It is just to notify why you powered off last time. Because it seems to be I uh, suddenly shut the, the machine. The SQL, uh, the, uh, sorry, the, my, the Windows Server Manager, we are not going to take care. Uh, so it's not our interest. This window you'll get it frequently. Whenever you log into the uh, server, you'll get it. So I'm uh, turning it off. Uh, here is actually the uh, SQL Server copy. This I'm gonna utilize to install, but but I'm gonna sh sh show you how I uh, got it. myself. I got it from a local machine. So I'm sorry. I'm gonna re-log in. Great. So uh, from inside the uh, uh, this uh, Windows Server, I'm going to start the start menu. Uh, the unique browser I have actually 
here I'm gonna refer to the to the mood, no more, no less. So from there you get your source. Me myself, actually, I got it from a local source, so I'm not gonna download it again just to gain the time. And remember that I'm recording, so I'm gonna make the thing actually as brief as it can be. Uh, so from a local source, I got it. He, as if you are download, downloading it from uh, from the uh, from the uh, from the model, no more, no less. Uh, what to say? What to say? What to say? Yes, that's it. So I'm going to launch and I'm going to uh, utilize the online um, um, SQL server. It's an SQL uh, editor online. It's not SQL server. It's an SQL editor online. But let me launch the installation of this SQL server. Uh, so double click it. As administrator, I'm going to run the thing as administrator. Installation. New SQL Server. Um, uh, it is an ev evaluation or actually express. Let's, let's use express as usual, as the same one. Even the evaluation, give, it will give us 90 days. It's okay. I'm going to install the express. Confirm. That's it. Uh, no, there is. I do not need any updates. Okay, firewall is not uh, set. I do not need it. Uh, SQL Server feature installation. All features with default. Just SQL Server feature. I need them. Here, uh, select all. All the features, including the uh, the local DB, you can find it here. Let him install all. What is the error message we got here? Uh, dot net. The dot net. The error message here is the dot net. The error message here is the, the dot net. I'm gonna activate the dot net. Dot file. How I do? Start menu. Control panel. Uh, and install a program, turn Windows features on or off. Uh, yes. Remember this is the server. Okay, next. Uh, still next. I did not modify anything. Still next. Still next. And this is the feature. 3.net3.net. Uh, dot dot I want to take it just activated. Next. Let him install. Take is it will not take a long time actually. Because we need this installation to finalize the uh, SQL Server installation. We need this uh, feature.
working without interrupting running tasks see the message i got here uh, so we can interrupt i'm going to just check if the uh, installation has finished or not the sign is that we can continue so i come back to my wizard yes how i refresh this page here just one step one step back and just i proceed i will see the output still the message mean, means i have to wait for this one means i have to wait for this uh, feature to finish Meanwhile, meanwhile, let this one get installed. I'm gonna refer to the uh, online uh, uh, online uh, SQL Server just for for interpretation only of our uh, guide. Let me see the question. First of all, actually, we are required to create the two tables: the uh, location and. Uh, history uh, so let's uh, utilize the uh, database any database so to the Google yes is the one next step compiler special server online Okay, the uh, architecture actually uh, of this uh, engine here is this uh, the following. The following. We have four entities. We are going to utilize them, but I'll uh, write the script actually for uh, building up the, the first table. Remember, remember what I'm answering here. Let me show it. Let me share it. The first field, the first sorry, uh, entity, we have two fields, the location ID and the location name. The second, we have also two fields, location ID again, which and the uh, modified date, modification. We're going to use this one as for, for modification. Remember, DML and DDL, our, uh, our purpose. I'm going to create only the first now. Later on, we'll see the second one after the trigger. Uh, so I'll come back. So I'm gonna um, the, the the GDL here actually uh, in this in this example we're going to do. So Murad, one hundred shares in the world. Miss Matt. So I'm sharing something with my mobile and I can see myself, so it is visible. Uh, 
what we're going to do. So I'm going to try for. Create table uh, as per the name of the task locations. And we have location ID. ID as an int. And field is. Field is uh, location name. It's about that. I'm going to say 50. Close. Semicolon, and that's it. We finished the execution. Uh, if we'd like to execute, just run. Right. Uh, it will tell us actually uh, near the semicolon there is a uh, uh, missing parenthesis. Oh, see the color even. The parents has to close. Just let's run again. Yes, the table has been uh, generated. Uh, if I'm gonna uh, do any population, if I'm gonna insert anything inside of this uh, side of this table, so I may I might do an insert into. The same spelling locations. I have to respect the fields now one, and I'm going to say in between double quotations this one. Great, great. Let's execute it again. I have an error near uh, he's saying this one. I'm going to use the single quotations, not the double quotations. Single quotations, single quotations, single quotations. Uh, still, he's saying an error. What did I say? What did I, say? What did I do? Uh, create table locations. Location ID int. It's an int. Location lock name. Watch out. Absolute service time. Sec absolute service. Okay. Um, error warning. Near semi color. In certain two locations. Don't you see me what I'm doing? You have to correct me, no? Values. So execute. Done. Let's see if it has been executed or not. Select. Believe that this uh, online compiler is running well or not. Select star from but locations. Select execute. Here it is. One ID, Nizwa is the location name. That's very fine. Uh, what we are going to do through the uh, the actually this uh, actually this insert here, it is an DML. This create is a DDL. So we can control those creations. We can control those manipulations using triggers. And control using triggers. To hyphen, to actually hy double hyphen means it's a command. So we're going to create a view to control insert, insert event. In this sense of any event that tries to insert a value, insert, yes, a value into these locations will be, uh, 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 let's say, declared a message or will be actually uh, having a message or something like that. And the sense of if now I insert the value, now I only insert the value. If I try to do a second time to insert a value, I have to be alerted the message, saying that there is uh, there is a trial to insert, to update, or to do something. This is the role of the trigger. This is what the trigger would, would do. Let's do that. So what is this? This is a command. Create. I'm going to give the name here. Uh, I'm going to say um, ins underscore two underscore two locations. Is the name actually? I'm I'm here. I'm defining a user defined name. Uh, no more, no less. On this table name, copy, paste. 
for uh, let's say for uh, for select we have to have actually a begin and we'll have an end okay for, sorry in between here for the uh, for the for the begin and end we are going to do the insert now we're going to do the insert uh, sorry for this one we're going to do the task if any select happens if any select happens we're going to do our control here let's say i'm gonna say select um uh, yes i'm gonna say select between six rotations new value is forbidden i'm blocking the insert of new value as select what i'm gonna, go, I'm gonna say new select as new select uh, okay, let's actually, the trigger, remember, this is not an entity. Uh, it is an entity, it is sort of an entity, but it is a control more than uh, to be an entity. We are not generating a table. This uh, uh, ins two locations. It's uh, uh, an object that has a task to do. It is not an entity to display value or to store value. We are inside the database, yes, but it has an action to do, which is, for this select, if any process, if any process tries to do this task, which is the select, the begin and the block will be fired. Whatever we have here. In this case, we have only one statement. But if you have more than that, it would be fired. Let's uh, select it. Let's execute it. And I'll see. Just uh, let me run. Uh, near create trigger must be a first statement in uh, query batch. Actually, remember, this is an online, uh, this is an online, uh, that, I'm gonna um, set it here, put it here, okay, let's execute it. Great thing must be the first statement in the query batch. It is the first actually. Great thing it must be actually. It is not taking consideration of what I'm highlighting, so this is the uh, problem of this uh, compiler. I'm going to delete everything. I'll see what he will do. Still, incorrect syntax near select. No, there is no error. Yes, okay. um, select as new data. What I'm doing, I'm displaying this message, no more or less. It's a message I'm displaying. So, briefly, I'm displaying a message. I'm going to say, for well, instead, instead of select. This would work with us actually in the SQL server, not here, I believe. So yeah, it will keep it, it will keep give us giving us the um, error message, error message, error message, because because of the compiler, no more or less because of the compiler. It's not uh, equipped to understand the trigger. Um, so far, it is that's the, that's the task we want to need. Actually, I try to do the instead because I'm replacing completely the select. Let me come back. Yeah, the last. Uh, but for so far, it is very fine. So I'll keep this one here. I come back to check uh, my installation. It is still, you know, see, it, still, it, it does not have to take all this time. But okay, let me come back one step and try again. Select all. Next. Still the same uh, 3.5. .net is required. We have to wait again. The trigger for the I'm gonna what I'm gonna do what uh, the the next one according to the task. Let me uh, see the task uh, DML. Still let let's let's continue on the DML only as we did for the select as we did. For the select, for the select, I'm gonna do it for the uh, for the delete. 
Okay. Uh, so we delete what? Delete what we inserted. I'm going to insert, let me insert second one. Of course, you can I'm going to insert second, uh, second, uh, second. Just to use, why to use it? Avoid this error. Yes, we inserted two values now. We insert two values now. Let me return the trigger again. Insert, uh, another trigger I'm going to create. Like what I did. Trigger. Trigger. I'm going to give the name um, Delete. Let it let it delete locations. Go easy on table name low locations. Yes, here instead I'm completely replacing uh, instead of what delete. What does this message do? Actually, this uh, this um, this instead do it replaces completely. completely completely replaces what the delete does so um, we may use for to replace or we may use instead it's instead of Good. we have also an uh, begin and end Sorry. And, and, and in between you are going to do whatever you want here also i'm going to display if you try to delete any value, if you as a user, any value from this location will be uh, blocked, will be, uh, let's say, forbidden. And what this block begin and will be executed, will be, uh, what, what this um, block holds would be executed, means that the fire is would be, uh, sorry, this block begin and will be executed instead of uh, the delete, no more, no less. Simply, I'm going to just display a message. Select as. Alert. Delete is forbidden. I'm going to say, and it is not a philosophy. We we just uh, apply the rule. Let me execute again. Uh, 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 um, as for the first trigger, we get the same error message. It is not accepted in this online. Create uh, trigger must be the first statement and the query batch. I'm gonna keep only the triggers. Plus, I deleted all 13 lines. 13 lines. They are only the triggers. I need to execute this trigger. This uh, this delete. Still, I know an object type A. Use in create drop or alter statement in this a yeah okay trigger must be the first statement and the query batch still these the compiler need no more or less but for us our job is done at this level those two triggers, they are DML based, means they are manipulating, they are controlling the, um, the, the DML contents. What are the DML? Remember, the insert, the select, the update, the, the queries you send to manipulate data. Data manipulation, the queries you send to manipulate data, they are all under the title DML. But here in this case, we are just controlling those two, the select and the, the delete. Um, uh, let me have a look. Yes, see, the installation has finished here. Let, uh, let's come back to this virtual machine now. The uh, installation succeeded. Close. Uh, one step back, then I'm going to confirm again. Great, it has passed. There is no error at all. Next. I'll keep uh, the default name for the uh, for the for the SQL instance. 
uh, nothing to modify. I'm going to activate the browser. I'm going to activate. I'm going to activate the browser to give me access uh, as an administrator later on using the command prompt. I'm going to activate the server on the browser. I'm going to give it. Um, let it be automatic. Uh, to give me access, actually, to the uh, to the SQL server using the as an administrator using the command prompt. As an administrator using the Okay, here I'm going to make a mixed access, mixed mode access. I'm going to give a password. I don't know if my password is correct. Yes, I believe it's uh, the, cu the current user also. Wait for it. Yes. Next. We will configure, install, and configure both. Uh, yes, install. Let's uh, start the installation. Great. Let me confirm the resolution of the record and Great. So let's come back. Uh, I'll leave this installation uh, get finished. It will take a few minutes, not more. And let's uh, create a DMA, uh, sorry, a trigger that manipulates the, the, D, the DDL. Actually, um, before I pass, before I pass, before I pass. Before I pass, the, G, the delete statement here, what actually to make you understand more, to make you actually clearly understand what is this uh, trigger, what, uh, what is it about. Let me come back. Let's see. Great. So, what, the, what does it do? It means if we, here we are just replacing the delete instead of delete. See, instead of delete, what is the delete? We insert here two values. And we had the output. Let me just uh, let me make them to be commands. I'm I'm changing those two to a command in order not to interrupt my action. Here I'm going to execute again. We have two two records. Can I insert third? Yes, I can. Okay, let me. Change the ID to three. I'm going to say here, Java Sultanate. I lost connection. Forget me as usually. So let them be as a command. I said Sultanate. Let me execute it to have the third record. Yes, we have the third. I want to delete the second record. Can I do that? The answer is yes, I can. But here, to block this delete action, the trigger would do that. How you block an, an SQL server? Either you have a project that you have an API to a sort of procedure to do you this task of controlling. Otherwise, we have another solution, which is a trigger. If you try to do any 
delete this block begin and would be fired yeah, still as I told it is a complex block compiler oh, if I try to do the delete here delete uh, from locations where uh, the location ID ID is equal ID, equal, equal to okay let's execute okay. we have we have three records what happened express edition yes yeah, it has been executed no I have an error he's saying invalid current location ID it's one and yes yes plus one and three what is the two it has been deleted if i want to delete the number one one two one three why because we inserted already he's executing the code again and again this compiler it's not like the sql server it just install it just uh, executes what we highlight yeah the installation is still in progress we keep it continue. Let's uh, just have, uh, let's create a DDL. Let's create a DDL. Oh. DDL uh, trigger. Here in this context, we are going to control, control the create. For example, when I say create table, uh, again, I lost the connection. Create table. Uh, I'm gonna say int create what student. I'm gonna say yes student ID. It's an int name. It's a vacha fifty uh, major. It's a vacha also another fifty. Uh, so let's execute execution zero second actually it has been executed let me whatever it has been executed this execution here it is a ddl i'm going to control it i'm going to control using a trigger what does it mean i'm going to control either to allow or to deny either to do it or not either you are going to uh, give permission to do such task create the table or not Actually, we are not going to to control the table, but the creation, to create, create yes or no. So a trigger would would, would help us do that. Solution: create trigger. Mister. Yes. Yes. Your screen is not available. Yes, Mister. Match the screen. Yes. Thank you for the notes. Jenny, it is online, and uh, this is good that you are following me. Created three guy was about to say, yes, I'm going to give a name. Um, create let's say here city no come on channel it's a name usually fine create control uh, on what on the database the level or i may say on the server either on database or on server 
create what? Create a table. So it's on the database. Create a database. It is not on the database. It is on the server. In our context, we are creating a table. The table is where? It's in the database. So I'm going to say on database. On data base. Or what? Create as we have a begin. We have a begin and an end. More or less. This begin would hold whatever we want. For example, somebody tries to do create. No, I don't want him to do a create. I just I want a, a message to be alerted. I so I do a message. I give a message. No, I want to do instead of this create an insert to another temporary table. I can do an insert means I can do the, the following. But in two, for example, the entities we have uh, the locations. When we say insert in two locations, that we want. No, the, the same spelling, capital small. Locations, uh, uh, whatever I want, actually. Uh, uh, what I'm going to insert, I have two fields. I have two fields. What I'm going to insert here, you remember last class we saw the types and the table, the, the table valued parameters. I'm going to create an attribute. Here I'm going to say it's uh, new what? New location. I'm going to say n okay. is the variable. I'm declaring cd at cd arrow bus here. I'm declaring a use defined variable. Actually, um, to utilize with this variable, I'm going to make it the thing actually much more easier. Without declaring a variable, I'm going to say immediately select um, event data. Data this is a method that gives us. What is happening after the process running runtime and get date? Stop. Two fields. This is from the system, and this is from the system also. Select. It will read the system, uh, this specificity or this value from the uh, from the system, and also this one. There is no from. I'm not mentioning from. I'm not writing from. So. It would replace the two fields in this location. Uh, what is this location? This entity, it has the uh, location ID and lock name. This location ID would be replaced with this event date. And the lock name would be replaced by get date. I'm even two values only. What I'm doing here, I'm explaining to you that whatever I do in this block begin and, and here in this area, see this begin, see this and, what I'm doing here, it would be actually completely executed if any create query would be launched. Anybody tries to do an uh, create, so the begin and will be executed. Finished. Great. Let's come back now and let's uh, get rid of that compiler online. Close. This one also close. Uh, installation has been finished. So there is uh, this window. You get it because everything has been ter terminated. I'll close this one. SQL Server. What I'm going to do? SSMS. Our uh, famous management studio. Yes. Because of the first time it is loaded. Great. Um, I'm going to begin as SA. I remember the password. Okay, my password. Wait. Are you serious? Great. 
this. I missed the password, you know. So, uh, I have to record it. Wait, I mean, if I try to log in as an uh, environment user. Yes, I mean also. No. Yes, great. You want to copy? Whatever it was, uh, right. no, it was, it is in the uh, external, it's not, it's not inside the virtual machine. I'm going to create a new database. So here, right here. As an administrator, sorry, let me create it as an administrator, let me create it as DSA. Let me memorize, remember, connect, great. Let me create a new database. I'm going to give it the name, uh, I'm going to create the same as uh, our external database. I'm going to say SCD. DB, SCD DB. Let's stop. Just uh, okay. No other preferences. Here it is. Inside of inside of it, I'm gonna create the two entities we had in this task, which are the location and the location here. His new table. Here. Location. ID. It's an int. And lock name. It's a watcher. Watch out 50. Great. I'm going to save and change the name to locations. Great. Done. Right. Save. Close. Uh, refresh. Our entity. Top 200. I'm going to give the ID 1. Sorry. Come on. 1. Location name I'm going to say Oman. Look, um, ID 2. I'm going to say Nizwa. ID 3, I'm going to say location Sultanate. Whatever, it's enough. I did not save, just close, automatically save. Great, everything is there. So, new query. New query. Remember that I'm logged as SA. Yes, great. So, um, create table. I had to actually to do it manually. This, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this locations I have actually uh, these locations I had to create it manually. Let's come back now. I'm going to create the second table, which is the location hist. Location hist. As per the query, we have how many fields? Two. Uh, the location ID again and uh, the modified date. Location ID, it's an int. And modi. Modified date. It's uh, date time. I'm going to give bar chart to avoid the syntax error. Both are okay, but if you use the date time, you have to respect the you have to respect the syntax of the date. Bar chart fifty. Bacha typo. I'm not going to execute now. I'm not going to execute now. Actually, I'm going to refer to the uh, trigger uh, to, to to control it. So create trigger. I'm going to say it is a it is a DDL. Yes. Uh, I'm going to say create underscore CTRL. It's a usually find name. No more or less on day sorry database data base uh, for create as there is any correct syntax expect and delete 
uh, instead. We have a solution for this and that actually. Let's finish and I come back. Begin. This and we'll simply here so just select uh, select. Uh, between two single quotations, creation of new, and I'm going to say entity, entity, okay, as, we give a header, I'm going to say here, uh, let's say, message or alert, alert, great, see here actually, if I just execute this block only, to make you understand what is this. See, I have a table saying that alert, the content is creation of entity. Whatever I, I wrote here, the red, it's a message, this, uh, this red here, in between two quotations, no? It is a message, simply. It's alert here, it is only to uh, to show the content. It is the header of the content, no more, no less, actually. It is actually... Uh, uh, Yeah, it is only for the for the for the content. Let me execute. Actually, see because I'm. Uh, uh, let's use the uh, four. Let's use for the four. Uh, and uh, not the create, but alter table. Any modification? Alter underscore table. Come on. Alter table. Great. Alter table. Create trigger. Uh, must be the only statement in the batch. Select. It is the, it is the only. Completed successfully. Completed successfully. What does it mean? What does it mean? Let's see. Here actually, what, what are the entities we have here? Refresh. We have only this location. Let's execute this and create the hist. Location hist. We'll be able to do that. Execute. Successful. Refresh the table. Uh, refresh. Yes. I have the hist. Let me see the uh, triggers. Uh, table wise. Several objects. Triggers. It's here. Refresh. On database, I said. So I said the database. Security. Programmability. Sorry. Um, Old sequence. Refresh first. I'm searching for the uh, trigger only. Um, yes, database triggers create CTRL, which is the uh, which is the uh, the trigger we just created. The trigger we just created. Uh, you can do it, but I'm gonna enable or disable. Now, I'm just I'm gonna show you the two commands how to enable disable. It is available in our guide also. How to enable and disable. Uh, a trigger, not only this one, a trigger in general. So this trigger actually it is enabled. This trigger is enabled because we just created it. Uh, I'm going to disable it and later on I'm going to show you it's just the command to change. Disable, uh, I'm going to say trigger, give the name which is the create underscore ctrl, it's not available. Yes. Semicolon. Disable trigger create. Execute near semicolon. Disable. Hundred percent. It is clear. Database. 
because it is on database disable disable correct yes complete successfully disable let me see here syntax disable maybe something before but it is correct so uh, this one actually it has been dis disabled i may drop it i may delete it completely or drop because still when i refresh when i refresh still it's there so i'm gonna say the same uh, command is the same it's the same create ctrl uh, on database okay drop here i'm, I'm executing the drop now execute he said successful i'm going to refresh nothing there nothing. so I, I, we got we got rid of our uh, trigger so actually this way we uh, we may we may we may be able to uh, control the either the ddl or the dml the, the, the logon intentionally the logon the last uh, trigger I, I, we, in this uh, guide it is talking about the logon triggers it means if we do a logon it will control us i'm not explaining because we need to activate an administration account from an external uh, remote remote uh, remote access because the logon uh, triggers they are uh, uh, coach, uh, we have to, to be very cautious. They may block our uh, access to the SQL Server entirely. I'm not. Uh, I'm not explaining this uh, logon uh, for now. It's enough. We know that uh, the DML they are controlled with trigger triggers, and the D the DL they are controlled with uh, with triggers also. This is DDL, and the same way we may refer to the DML, select or delete or insert or update. Any questions, please? Uh, see what I'm going to do. The last thing this is for the dml ddl and i'm going to create something for the create your delete delete control delete control on um, database yes let it be for the database on locations you actually it is not the database but on the entity hist we have hist we have data on the hist now isn't it where is the table On locations let's use the table locations we have date we have date so any delete on locations on locations will be controlled for instead of not for instead of now i'm going i'm going for the delete instead of delete good i'm creating a second i'm creating a second second trigger to control the, the, the delete Delete of what? Of any value inside of the locations. What is the locations? Is this entity? So let's see. If anybody tries to do this delete from the table locations, so we do actually um, we display message as easy as this. So I'm gonna say delete from locations is prohibited. Enough. as alert leave the same type let's execute this block done complete successfully let's see the uh, triggers it's not there let me see the uh, actually on locations we created the trigger inside the locations no so open the locations triggers here it is, delete control. So we generated the trigger inside the locations. Let's uh, let's execute the delete now. So the locations already we have values, isn't it? Yes, we have three records. Let's delete 
here after i'm gonna delete delete from uh, let's say uh, first of all before delete before delete i want to see what is there select star from locations okay okay let's see oh, those are the values let's delete for example number one come on from from uh, locations where what location id location id equals one i'm gonna say one delete from locations where location id equal one. okay let's delete huh? delete okay syntax near where there is no where it's where not worth typo sorry So let's uh, highlight, execute. Yes, see, I executed the delete, but see what I got. Delete from locations is prohibited. I'm executing delete now. Delete from the locations, which, which we created the trigger on. You cannot delete. If I select, I will still have the three. They are three still. They are three. We cannot delete. Thank you very much for the follow up. I'm going to send you the video right now. And I'll take the attendance also.